good evening to tonight's special service for Pastor Steve and Molly. Um, what a great night, what an occasion already. And uh, we really want to give you a warm welcome. We've got some esteemed guests with us, and this is why I'm speaking properly just now. And they understand me. All the way from the south of England, we've got John and Andrew Partington here with us. In the Scottish Republic, we've got the Scottish area leader, Andrew Smith. We've got Ian and Elizabeth Guthrie and Betty with us as well. We've got a fellow from Apex, such as Betty. And we've got Steve's family as well. Let's give them. Tonight, um, I don't know what, what name is set up for, for tonight. I appreciate the service up there. Um, we were thinking of a celebration, but we thought maybe actually we could celebrate Steve um, going away. <laughs> for, for the memorial, the access to like he's dying. <laughs> uh, appreciation I liked, um, uh, farewell as well, but what we said it's going to be a Thanksgiving. And they'll tell me it's right? Yeah. And that's what we're doing here tonight. We're giving thanks yeah. for six brilliant years of yeah. service to this local church. Yeah. And also over 40 yeah. years of service in ministry. Right. And yeah. many, many years. <laughs> so, it's going to be an emotional night. <laughs> Are you ready with your hunkies? What we see are emotional faces. <laughs> some people look happy, some people look in pain. There's not much emotion. But it is going to be a happy night, it's going to be a night full of laughs and fun as well. That's the way that Steve and Molly uh, would have wanted it tonight. So we're going to have a good time, aren't we? Yes. And uh, to, get, to make sure that you are in the mood, can I ask all of us to start? We're going to just, I'll tell you, I'll praise and worship just in a minute. But just to make sure, that you are in the mood. There, is, there are many catchphrases that Steve has brought us in the last few years. But the main one that everybody would say, yes, the main one that everybody would say is, come on! Right, so after three, I want you just to, to, to get started tonight and give a big come on, and one, two, three, and then come on, okay? And let's show that we're really up for this tonight, okay? One, Two, three. Come on! Not good enough. <laughs> Steve, come on and just show these people how to come on really. Right, come on, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Come on! <laughs> There's some praise and worship now. One of the main things that I've learned and that Steve has brought to us a church here, I believe, to every church and every place he, he, he goes to, is his heart for worship. And he loves to worship the Lord. He's energetic, yeah. he's expressive, yeah. and he's passionate in his worship. And I believe that it would be great if we're passionate and expressive yeah. along with him yeah, tonight. Yeah. So I just want to ask um, Steve's good friend, Simon Nicol, one of the leaders of the, the church here, he's going to come and he's just going to open our service with a word of prayer. Sandy, come on out the mic up here, and then we're going to go into time for, for worship the Lord. Are we ready for that? Yes! yes. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks, man. And I came to say, it really is emotional. It's uh, a sad thing for us because probably backed a lot of the history of this church in the six years. Yeah. More than six years, it seems like. Yeah. I'm not even going to hazard a guess. But we thank a lot for Steve and Molly for the thing they brought here and the changes that they brought in. Everybody is happy with the way the church has gone in the last, the last six years. And we've come to this point tonight. But we still give God the glory. Yes. Yes. Two lives that have been sent to us and blessed to our church for the last six years. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your goodness to us tonight. We want to thank you for the way that you're leading your church. Yes, not just this church here, Lord, but every church represented here tonight. We thank you for your love and your goodness and your patience with us. 
And we thank you, Lord, that you blessed us with your pastor that showed us how to be happy in the Lord's presence, how to rejoice in the Lord's presence. And tonight, as we continue in your presence, we pray most of all tonight that your presence will be felt and that your name will be glorified from this place tonight. We pray that you'll send your Holy Spirit amongst us tonight, that your name might be glorified and your people might be built up in their faith. And we would pray for every guest here. We, we thank you for each one. And Lord Jesus, be real to each one of us tonight, we pray. And Lord Jesus, we just pray that from this place, your name will be glorified. And Lord, tonight we would ask that your kingdom would be extended from this place tonight. And we ask all these things, giving you praise and glory and thanks in your name, the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
everybody for coming. And the presentation I guess that you know there are a lot of people here from different places and you know we uh, really appreciate you coming along tonight and just pay tribute to, to Steve and Molly. Um wanna wanna go through just a little bit of what we've called magic moments, a little bit of background in history and our lives uh, just now. And here they are, um, looking really great. But for Steve, it all started back on the 7th of November, 1945. And there he is. Isn't he cute? And that was, and he's cute back then as well. And that was the, always the same year as the, the war ended between Dr. and Cotton. Steve was brought in cotton and for going. And yes, Steve, his mum, his mum, his me. And then we could see him, he's, we, we died with me. Robert James, and uh, they had a special relationship. Oh, he, he was spotting the first Mohican in Belga. <laughs> um, next, we've got a nice uh, photo of Steve being trolled around by some, some of the people that you might recognise. Does somebody recognise anybody in that photograph? Apart from Steve's obviously the one getting shouted about in the pram. There's Chrissy Bell here, eh? And there's Jane Carlo as well. And then the, the wee boy there, he's the chain, he's actually well, William White. <laughs> he's searching for something there. <laughs> Steve's reading his Bible well. I believe, I believe uh, he had a broken leg and he got, he got pushed around the, the world in that time by the, 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 by the girls. Eh? All they found as well there as well. So, um, right, next. Here's Sammy's mum and dad again. You seem to throw a lot of that out. Next. Oh, I'm going to go. Any of you He's just like an angel. Robert James is hair oil. That's hair oil. Just like this. Next, we, um, he grew up a bit and he got a bite. Look, he's looking really like Matthew Sutherland there for some reason. Uh, but, but then, after that, he got, he got a car. Whoa, look at that. No, that's his cousin, though. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, now, was that actually a baptism? How about that tells you there, Steve? That's Pastor George Stout. Pastor George Stout. Was that in Mosavara or? It's in Mosavara. Uh, he's from Aberdeen. Ah, right. There you go. So, Steve, uh, obviously, public declaration of the Lord. How old were you there, Steve? Yeah, I was 16. 16. 16. So, the next one we see that Steve is always a, a, a sharp dresser. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Always, even if he's a young man, that's having Arthur's seat. And uh, maybe it's a good time to uh, mention that oh, Steve's calm. Oh no, that's Steve looking calm. <laughs> 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 Steve The other guys look as if it's 1920s, and Steve looks like he's in the 80s, isn't he? <laughs> Are you sure that's me? Yeah, I think so. Do. So, that's great. Next, next up, um, oh, here we go. Young sweethearts. When Steve was 17 and Molly was 18, they met in Edinburgh. And they're lovely. So, Molly's got a toy boy. <laughs> So they, they, and they got married after that, when I got a wedding picture, I'm going to but in 1966, they, they got married, and uh, here's Steve bringing in his first paycheck, and uh, he worked in a, there's a ton of, in the, in the he just got some face there, I was 17. Oh, really? <laughs> so that was before you were married? Yeah. Well, we, we, we've got some more photos of the lovely couple coming up, if we, if we go on. Well, but first of all, <laughs> This is his first worship band. <laughs> and Steve played the recorder. It was going to be in a band. So, next, a couple of, of photos there. Oh, yes. Here's a typical Steve pose when he was younger, but obviously he's grown up and he would never, you know, not sort of pose like that anymore, would he? 
Uh, Carl was absolutely brilliant. We'll speak a little bit with Carl later on if, uh, if we keep going. And uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> There's been great times, there's been good times, as you see. That looks like we're at Chuck Seat Steel, is that here? No, it's in there, it must be, uh, my 12th anniversary, it must have been. So we're, we're actually laughing at uh, Mark Ritchie in Embryo, ready for the ministry. I said, we were laughing at him. Mark Ritchie, what? In Embryo. He was just getting ready to launch. In Embryo. <laughs> <laughs> You were laughing at the thought of Mark being a minister. <laughs> right, so it have been good times, and here's uh, when they, they moved to the Bridge Christian Centre in the uh, around about 1985, and everybody uh, celebrating there, Steve in the, the Kelp. Next, next up. <laughs> Steve in many roles, and uh, this is the Reverend Steve Ritchie. And then Brad Castle, he looks, that's kind of easy as well, there a little bit, but that's, uh, that's Steve, but he's in lots and lots of roles, he's been national leader, uh, one of the guys that set up Youth Alive in, in this nation, um, he's, he's been high up with, the, with Scottish AG for so long, he's in so many different roles there, pastor, senior pastor, uh, he's been camp director, so many things that Steve has done and been successful in. And it's been absolutely brilliant. Next, uh, next picture, Jimmy Robertson. But Steve, always, always the caring person and always a man of integrity. Never any skeletons in the closet whatsoever. Um, well, sorry for <laughs> a giant in his field. That's Stephen Trish. Um, and here's him taking on a joint, they think he's going to want to give John Pittick a left hook in the face there. But uh, John Pittick was upset, just left a message just uh, before the service, just asked him his, his uh, regards to you. You and Wopsy, and you and Molly had a great night. And um, next, uh, always want to take on a challenge, not scared of this, to see Steve. And next, uh, I can't remember what we're doing, so look at this. The one they got away, no, I'm just a uh, fisher of men, shall I say, yeah? Always, always. I love, I love Steve's coach. Which one's Steve? There's <laughs> one part of it that said that with me. Um, next. I was never a baptism. He's just always up for a laugh, um, Steve, isn't he? At all, at all occasions. Um, Mr. Harvey, and uh, you know, that's a, another side that he brings to this as well. Just his sense of humour, he's, he's fun, he's absolutely brilliant. Uh, and here's where, where Harry met Molly. He looks like Harry Potter, doesn't he? <laughs> um, next. That's better, that's, those better glasses there, and he's got better ones on now as well, so he's, he's moved up in the, in the world there. And there's, there's Steve's family, all the grandchildren as well. And, uh, that's another aspect that we just respect and love you so much that you, you're such family people and you've got a fantastic, wonderful family that I credit to you and it's a great example to, to the rest of us as well. And uh, speaking of family, the church family as well. We have just absolutely loved every minute and we appreciate you so much. And if we move on, just some of the, the members, you can just keep us uh, rolling, Carl. This is uh, Steve going on a mission to, to Ghana, working hard, uh, giving it the Bibles there as well. We also went to Uganda, and that's Steve in Uganda, in the baby center there at Rototo. This is Rototo, and when they came here as well, the events that we've done here. Uh, that's Exo Day, always in a great relationship with the youth as well, and uh, just getting involved with, with Exo Day. We just, that's Leah as well, um, uh, <laughs> relationships with our churches as well, also in, in Neil Pasqua, his community where he's in the director box and plays the prize of life, <laughs> but getting on with the men all the time and also with the ladies. <laughs> um, here he is, blowing hot air on the platform. <laughs> we'll leave it there. 
worshipping as well. Uh, we'll always remember my friend. Different styles of worship. That's style of worship. That's Gangnam style worship. The family service not long ago. And right up to date here, if we just hold that in column, this was uh, the New Year's night, the, the, the Hogmanay. And this was, uh, as it said on Facebook, 10.55 on uh, All Year's Night. And Steve and Molly were both in the kitchen uh, doing the dishes and tidying up. And then he was just coming in to start uh, welcoming people and, and kicking off leading the meeting right after that, like just after 11. And it just shows his seven heart. I think it, it really shows the measure of the man as well. And uh, that is another side that we're just going to miss so much. Um, and then, but retirement is, is, is coming. We've <laughs> got a chance to relax. You can't end it in a serious note. We did sleep. And then the last one, the longest forward, this is uh, brilliant. So Stephen Molly. There's, there's many more tributes to come, but it was just a little bit of a magic moment. So let's um, give him a clap. <laughs> 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 <laughs>